Welcome to Little John's Yarns. Today, we're going to learn how to crochet an adult size bucket hat. You can follow along to this video with the written pattern on my blog. That information will be down in the description box below. It's absolutely free. And also, we'll be needing a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You'll need a stitch marker, definitely. And I'm using one skein of Felici worsted weight yarn. This yarn was provided by We Crochet. You can find all that information down below under crochet.com. I actually love this yarn because of its color striping. I'm a little bit color incompetent, so I like for the yarn to do the work for me. So remember, all that information is down below. I'm using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, but please make sure you check your gauge. Eight rows equal two inches and eight stitches equals two inches. So make sure you use the uh, required hook. To begin round one, we're going to start with a magic ring. If you can't do a magic ring, that's fine. Just chain four and slip stitch into the first chain to form a ring. So to begin round one, you're going to chain one stitch. We're placing six single crochet into the ring. So pause your video here and continue placing six single crochet into the ring. Once you make it back around, you can pull your clothes shut a little bit. We are not slip stitching the join. We're going to place the first two single crochets into the very first stitch. So two single crochets into the first stitch. That's one. Back into the same stitch. And two. And remember, we're going to place our stitch marker on so we never lose our stitch. We're working in continuous rounds. So in the first stitch that we made. Now, this is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around. You're just going to place two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So pause your video here and I'll meet you once you make it to the other side. We've made it back around and we're just going to remove our stitch marker. You should have a total of 12 stitches at the end of round two. So to begin round three, our pattern is going to be single crochet increase, single crochet increase all the way around. I work the first pattern with you. So single crochet into that first stitch. Remember, place your stitch marker in so you never lose your spot. Increase in the next stitch. That's two stitches. One single crochet back into the same stitch. Two. I'll show you one more time. Single crochet into the next stitch. Two single crochets into the next. One back into the same stitch. Two. That is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around and pause your video here and I'll meet you at the other side. At the end of round three, you should have a total of 18 stitches. Let's start round four. We're going to single crochet into the next two stitches. One, two, let me put my stitch marker in there so I don't lose where I am. And two single crochets into the next. One, back into the same stitch, two. We'll, I'll show you one more time. Single crochet into the next two stitches. Next stitch, two single crochet into the next. Back into the same stitch. And that is gonna be our pattern repeat all the way around. So pause your video here. At the end of round four, you should have a total of 24 stitches. I want you to pay attention to how each row increases. So for round number five, now we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches, then increase. So let's do that. Let's crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. Now we're going to increase. That's two single crochets into the same stitch. And remember, don't forget to go back and put in your stitch marker. Let me do that here. So that is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around. So pause your video here. So remember, single crochet into the next three stitches, increase. I'll meet you at the other side. At the end of round five, you should have a total of 30 stitches. So for round number six, remember the pattern, the last one you did, three stitches, then increase. This next row, we're going to do four stitches, then increase one two three and four that means two single crochets into the next stitch one and two remember to put your stitch marker in at the beginning of your row this is going to be the pattern repeat 
single crochet into the next four stitches, then increase. So pause your video here, continue with that pattern sequence, and I'll meet you at the other side. We've just completed round number six, and you should have a total of 36 stitches. We're gonna keep increasing in this order for another seven rounds. What that means, um, for example, for round number seven, the next one, you're gonna single crochet into the next five stitches, and then increase. For round number eight, you're gonna single crochet into the next six stitches, then increase. For round number nine, single crochet into the next seven stitches, then increase. We're gonna keep doing that until you have 11 stitches in between your increases. And don't worry if this sounds confusing, I'm gonna give you a chart on the very next scene. This is gonna be your super simple pattern repeat. For round number seven, you're gonna single crochet in the next five stitches, then increase. Round eight, single crochet in the next six stitches, then increase. Round nine, single crochet in the next seven stitches, then increase. You're gonna keep increasing in this manner until you finish with 11 stitches in between your increases. So pause your video here and I'll meet you there. If you're following along to the written pattern, you just completed round number 13 and you should have a total of 78 stitches. So now we're gonna start round number 14. We're gonna be working in the front loops only and we're gonna be slip stitching all the way around. So let me show you what we're looking at. So here's your front loop and we're just gonna be placing a slip stitch. Front loop and slip stitch. So pause your video here continue placing front stitch front loops slip stitches all the way around and i'll meet you at the other side once you make it back around now we're going to back loop single crochet find those unworked back loops from that last round i like to call this round 14.5 <laughs> so we're going to back loop single crochet and all the remaining back loops all the way around don't forget to use your stitch marker. So pause your video here, continue placing back loop single crochets, and I'll meet you at the other side. Once you made it back around, the next spots are gonna be easy. You're just gonna do a normal single crochet. You're gonna single crochet in each stitch all the way around for the next 13 rows. So pause your video here, continue placing normal single crochets around, and I'll meet you at the completion of your rows. We've made it back around, and if you're following along to the written pattern, we're about to start round number eight. So right now your hat should look like a normal hat. So now we're gonna give it that little flare that goes around the outside. To begin the first row, round number 28, you're going to front loop single crochet. So take your stitch and front loop single crochet. We're gonna continue placing front loop single crochets all the way around until uh, we meet at the other side. So pause your video here. Round number 29. We're going to begin by single crocheting into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five, and then increase. That means two single crochets into the next stitch. And that is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around. So single crochet into the next five stitches, then increase. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the other side. At the end of round 29, you should have a total of 91 stitches. Let's begin round number 30. So you're gonna single crochet into the first six stitches. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. That means two single crochets into the same stitch. And that is gonna be our pattern repeat all the way around. So single crochet into the next six stitches and increase. Pause your video here and I'll meet you at the other side. At the end of round number 30, you should have a total of 104 stitches. For the next two rounds, you're just gonna place normal single crochets in each stitch around. So pause your video here, continue placing single crochets in each stitch around for the next two rounds. All right, now it's time for round number 33. This is gonna be simple. We're just gonna single crochet into the next seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
and then we're going to increase that's two stitches into the same stitch that is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around so single crochet into the next seven stitches then increase single crochet into the next seven stitches then increase pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of this row at the end of round 33 you should have a total of 117 stitches for round 34 you're just going to place single crochets in each stitch all the way around so pause your video here and continue placing single crochets in each stitch around row 35 is our last increasing row so for row 35 you're going to single crochet into the next eight stitches then increase that was two three four five six seven and eight and we're going to increase in that ninth stitch that's two single crochets into the same stitch that is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around so single crochet into the next eight stitches then increase okay this is what our hat looks like but we have still have to add three more rounds the last three rounds are easy so all you're going to do is place single crochets in each stitch around Ooh, got a snag for the last three rounds and after that fasten off your work so pause your video here and we'll take a look at it when it's all done once you're done all you have to do is fasten off your work and weave in your ends and your bucket hat is all done